In linear algebra, one of the most annoying things is calculating the cross product. But not so much the actual calculation as remembering which calculations go where. For instance, if we have a vector a with a1, a2, and a3, and vector b with b1, b2, and b3, then the cross product, a cross b, is a2, b3, minus a3, b2. And how do you remember this? How can you remember this? In this video, I want to go over a method I came up with for a system of remembering the cross product in order. For instance, this looks really confusing, but hopefully in a couple minutes, it won't. Now, the first part of this is to define the cross product. The cross product is taking two vectors, and this is the cross product is only defined for this for two vectors in 3D space that returns one vector. One vector that's perpendicular to the two input vectors. So the key thing here is to just know this. If you just know the two vectors in 3D space that returns one vector, then you only need to remember two, three, and one. All you have to do is know two, three, one. Two, three, one. Again, that's two vectors, 3D space, that returns one vector. And so what does this have to do with anything? Well, if we have vector A, then we know, whoops, hold on, I'll just write this. Yeah, vector A, then we know vector A has A1, A2, and A3, just as we showed above. Now, we're going to have to cross that A cross, wait, I will just move this. Okay, so we're taking A cross B. So we have A1, and we have so B1, B2, B3. So where does 2, 3, 1 come in? Well, we know that this is 2, this is 3, and this is 1. But 2, 3, 1 is the order in which we will do the cross product. So what we do is we look at we're taking the cross product. So imagine we have an x. What we do is we say, okay, we're starting at 2. So what we do is we start at 2. This is what the 2, 3, 1. We're taking 2, then we do 3, then we do 1. So we take 2, and we look at the x. So we go down first. We go a, b. And then we, we see that we go up again. So then we go b, 2. So that's why we started at 2. And that means that the first one we'll get in the cross product is a2 times b3. And then you subtract that by the up going one. You're going up. So you look down and then you look up. So then you go minus a3 times b2. And then you say, okay, so we've done two. Now we've gone to three. So we look down and then we look up. Just as with a x, you look down and then you look up. So how do we do this here? Well, we what we do is we look down, and we say, well, where else can we go? So we end up coming down to the other side. We just go down until we go to the B1. So then we go A3, B1, because it has nowhere else to go. So the next one is A3 times B1, and then you subtract that by going up for your next one. So then you look up, and you say, okay, well, here's A1, and you go up. Oh, so then you subtract by A1 times B3. And so for the next one, we've done 2, 3, and 1. So now we start at A. So when we say 2, we start at A2, and then we do the X pattern. And when, then we go to 3, so we start at 3, and then we do the X pattern. And then when we reach 1, now we're at the 1, so we do the X pattern at 1. So what this leaves us with is we take A1, we go down to A2, so it's A1 times A2. B2, whoops, yeah, A1 times B2, subtracted by, and then you go A2, B1. B1. And so we've just found the cross product. And to compare this above, I mean, by the definition, we have A2, B3, 
A3, B2, it's all the same. So the way you can remember this, whoops, is that you have two vectors in 3D space that returns one. So then we know the sequence is two, three, one. Then X shape. So again, just one last review is that we start at two and we go down and then we go up. So you go down A2 times B3 subtracted by A3, B2. And then we go three and then we go to one. And we reach down. So another way to do this would be to simply go A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. And then before you do anything, you just draw the X's. And so then we start at the sequence, two, three, one, two, three, and one. And so from this, we can just say, okay, two, we're gonna go down and then we go up, and then we do it from three, we go down till we get to here, and then we go up from here, so we go from A1 to B3, and then we start at one, we go down and up. The only thing you know, two vectors, a 3D space, that returns one vector, and that's it. This is a easy method to remember the cross product, because normally it's really, really annoying.